a little different. I'm going to introduce you to the colors I'm going to use. And in this one, I am simply using Wizard Grade and Ivory Tusk. Now, those are Duncan Roads. So it's a slightly dark gray and an ivory. Now, for those of you that don't have Duncan Roads, I will show you what the equivalents are. So if you want to follow the same thing. So I'm going to go look in here and wizard gray is right here. So if you're using a reference Dawnstone Citadel from Citadel or uniform gray from army painter is the wizard gray. And the Ivory Tusk is either Pallid Witch Flesh from Citadel or Brain Matter Beige from Army Painter. I like the sound of Ivory Tusk better. But you want an Ivory and you're going to want a Dark Gray. Now, I will show you what I'm about to do. This is mainly very easy. You're going to find that I'm going to use a dry brush. And I'm going to use my three brush the game plan will be to simply dry brush this gray to highlight it and then make the fangs ivory so that the finished miniature will look like this before and after simple I am NOT painting the underside if you want to that's fine I'm not because these spiders are going to be like this all the time we are not playing with the spiders like this which i feel is a shame because that's where all the teeth are if you wanted to paint the ba base bottom then i would do gray like i do on the top and then paint the teeth yellow or the ivory but i'm for the basic elements of this that's all what you need to know about dry brushing i use this and I'm going to brush most of the paint off. You want the wetness of the paint to come off, but you want the pigments that make the color stay on. So you'll see me do this, and then I will go like this. I'm not getting down there, I'm not pressing down, just lightly going across. Now, I'll show you how quickly this ends up being painted. First, I'm going to take some of this onto my palette. I am not diluting this paint. I'm just gonna put a small amount here. That should be enough, but we're about to find out. Down my brush, wipe some of this off, and then go poof. Just brush along edges, get on the inside, outsides and this gets done very quickly the more you brush the same area the more paint you'll get there so if you don't like how that looks you want a little bit more you can hit it again if you don't like it hit it again if you want to make it really pop, you can go to a slightly lighter color and just go poof, poof, poof to get a little bit more on it. But I'm painting also for my wife's. Now, if you're going to use this dry brush, you don't want to wet it. You clean, clean this after you're done using all the dry brush. To clean a dry brush, just wipe it until you don't have any more paint on this and it's technically clean. You'll actually rinse it and do all that afterwards. I'm going to take just a dab. I don't need a lot more than that. I'm going to take a drop of water, put it over here. That's more than I need. Take my three, wet the tip a little, pick up my paint and just paint in the fangs. Go from both sides. And you do that. And if you feel like it's not 
like opaque enough it's too thin just do another coat otherwise the spider is done that simple i chose this to be the first one to show you dry brushing as well as what you can do with just a very basic um, technique so hope that makes the mystery away hope this you found helpful and put questions in the comments like the video if you found it helpful especially for you new hobbyists out there take care